Hi, I wanted to show you one of the more astounding demonstrations uh, you can do for your students and also a way to conceptually explain what is one of the more uh, tougher concepts in rotational motion and that is precession. So I have a bicycle wheel here. I do have weights around the edge to make it work a little bit better, but yeah, you really don't need to do that. Just a regular bicycle wheel or whatever you can find around a unicycle might be good. Uh, so we start out by looking at what would happen if I hang the bicycle wheel kind of off-center from this rope. And if I let go, we know that there's a torque from the weight of the wheel, because the weight of the wheel we can think of as being located here in the center, the center of mass. There's a lever arm, and so there's a torque, and so it would cause the bicycle wheel to rotate. And so I think it's important to emphasize that rather than just it would fall. If I let go, it would rotate. But if I were to spin it, then we'll see something different. And so if I get it spinning first, now I let go, and it does rotate, but it rotates 90 degrees from where you would expect it. But if you've developed the idea of conservation of angular momentum and shown them some of the other demos that I talked about, they sort of get this idea that there's something about it uh, that's not quite right that things go 90 degrees from where you expect. And we can come up with a conceptual explanation of that. So imagine the wheel's gonna turn this way, and it's turning, and if I let go, it starts to rotate like this. Well, picture a mass up here or down below. If it were to rotate 90 degrees, it's still at the same velocity. At this point, at this instant, it's going in that direction horizontally, and if this were to rotate 90 degrees, it'd be doing the same thing. So I wouldn't need a force from the wheel to change the direction of this particle. But if I put the particle here, now we have something different. So again, the wheel's gonna be rotating like this, and the particle is moving tangentially, so it'd be going straight up here. And if I were to rotate at 90 degrees, now its velocity would have turned 90 degrees. And we know to make something turn, you need to apply a force perpendicular to its velocity, in this case, toward me. So the wheel would have to apply a force toward me on this particle. And what would the particle do? The particle would apply an equal and opposite force on the wheel out towards you. Now imagine and that's really enough to explain this, but it might help to put another particle on the other side. And so this one is going down at this instant. And if the bicycle wheel were uh, to rotate, now it would be going out towards you. And so to make something turn that's going this way, in that direction, I have to push out towards you. And so the bicycle wheel would have to push out towards you on the particle. And so what does the particle do in Newton's third law? It would push back the other way on the wheel. So we've got this sort of idea that this particle will push in toward me on the wheel. Again, we're looking at the forces on the wheel. And then this particle will push out towards you on the wheel. And so we should get a twisting motion Like that. And you could look at particles at other locations, and then it'd be a little bit more complicated, but you'd still, you'd still get that twisty motion that causes the precession. So without getting into the detailed mathematics, you can show them this, and actually you can remind them they learned this when they first learned to ride a bike, that if you're riding a bike and you start to tip over, it's really hard to tip over if the wheels are spinning but real easy to tip over if you're going too slow because the wheel bike wheel tends to twist this way rather than down. And so it's worth having a bike wheel for a lot of reasons. Here's one more, uh, give it a try. I would recommend you work through this maybe on uh, pencil and paper, or maybe help them uh, with it on the board uh, for this conceptual understanding of the difficult concept of precession.